Hey guys, welcome to my channel Security Ninja. Today we are going to work on the day 22 of the advent of Cyber 3, which is presented by TryHackMe. In this task, we're going to learn about how to use uh, CyberChef and OE dump to the office gate malicious code inside of a doc file. If you're not familiar with CyberChef, um, basically it is a Cyber Swiss Army knife um, that you can use it for a lot of different purposes. Uh, you can use it to decode, de um, decrypt, or either or doing perform a, a logic operation on it. But I would say uh, the most used part is the decode and the decrypt, uh, decrypt decryption. Also, logic operation is another uh, most used um, tool inside of the Cyber Chef. So we can we can see here that we have this um, base sixty four string, and uh, if we uh, use from uh, base sixty four, um, and uh, and uh, in the output section, uh, it will give you the plain text for the uh, for the base sixty four uh, representation, and. Uh, uh, Decryption part, um, those are the most of, uh, common uh, encryption methods we see all the time. So, um, so CyberChef can use to decrypt them if you have the key. And uh, CyberChef is free to use, and you can also download your own um, version of the CyberChef to your local machine, and uh, um, you can use it on your local machine. Um, and for the OE dump, um, it is uh, open source to uh, written in Python that you can use to analyze malicious code inside of the office files. And uh, we can see here that for the OE dump, the most basic syntax is OE dump um, your the file you want to analyze, and it will give you uh, streams. Uh, for this doc file. So all the office files, they are OE files. They have certain structures. Um, if it contains macros, it will have uh, structures here. So you can use OE dumps to analyze the content inside of the uh, office file. So we can see we have different uh, parameter we can pass to the OE dump, we have uh, most used is uh, uh, is dash uh, lowercase s, which will dump the certain stream uh, to you, and also um, the dash d performs a raw dump, and the um, dash uppercase s will perform a stream uh, strings dump. So I guess we can. Um, we can get it started for the questions part, which we are going to decode a uh, obfuscated uh, malicious PowerShell command and uh, see what we have from there. So, so on the desktop we have this Santa Claus naughty list, uh, which is a, um, which is uh, obfuscated um, doc file here contains a macro uh, inside there. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run the OE dump on it. So to see what kind of uh, streams it contains. So I'm going to drag this file inside of my terminal uh, command prompt and just hit enter. So we can see we have a bunch of streams here and we can see we have uh, M means macro, and uh, um, yeah, so this those are means the macro. Uh, and uh, uh, for this specific task, uh, we want to deobfuscate a uh, certain stream. So, but if you, but if you uh, want, you can check uh, each stream uh, and check what kind of content content inside that uh, inside that stream, but. Uh, for the purpose of this task, we're going to 
uh, check out the stream 8 right so because we have here we have the stream 8 um, it is this to solve this challenge you need to find the stream that contains office get scripts select the macro uh, stream number eight and dump the contents by running a command so in the in the realistic scenario uh, if you really just analyze the malicious document ideally you need to check all the streams because sometimes uh, the office gated powershell command could uh, could contain inside other stream um, so ideally you need to go in through all the streams and check what contains what, what contained inside each stream but in this case we are going to check out the stream 8 and we are, we are going to use uh, uppercase s because we want to dump out the stream so we see here we have uh, we have a base 64 um, encoded um, command here so this is a base64 because we know that in the end we'll have a equal equal so it means uh, obviously this is a base64 encoded so what we want to do is we want to put this command um, inside the cyber chef and see what we can go from there so just uh, um, it just waiting it's to boot up for the cyber chef um, Still loading. Um, just bear with me one moment. So we have the Cyber Chef available here for us, and uh, um, so if we check out this Cyber Chef, if we use uh, from base sixty four, we see that uh, it is still we can we, we don't understand what it is but if we follow the xor uh, if we use the xor here and uh, apply the key as 35 because 35 is a lot of malwares um, or if you have ever analyzed the cobalt strike payload um, a lot of times they they tend to use uh, XOR35 as one of their encryption key so that's a that's a lot of cases uh, from what I see or from a lot of uh, other people uh, have see so uh, XOR35 is most malware they like to use X or 35 and if we apply a uh, uh, decimal x or 35 on there we see we have this code but it seems still encoded so this one is a double uh, base 64 uh, encode so we want to apply another uh, from basic base 64 on it so now we have this um, plan text uh, file here we can see that uh, it is one of those files one of those scripts that if we scroll down here so in the top here it's a uh, we, 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 we would guess this is like a, a email stuff right because and uh, if we scroll down we say that here we have a for loop what it does is trying to get all the contents inside this pictures folder and uh, attach them as an email attachment and uh, sending to this remote gmail um, gmail uh, email address so that is that is what it, uh, what it essentially does uh, so we can answer our questions now so first question is what is the username from the decode script? Uh, this one is straightforward. Uh, we can see is uh, username is is the first part. We see the variable here, so we got correct. And the uh, password for this uh, email account is this. We got correct. And uh, what is the subject of the email? Um, so we can just scroll down and we say it's a Christmas 
whitelist. So this is our um, subject for the email. And the uh, next part is what port is a script used to extract data from the North Pole? Um, I think this one should be 5A7 because uh, Gmail SMTP use 5A7. So that is the answer. So we want to capture the flag now. Um, it's asking for what is a flag hidden found in the document that Grinch, uh, this, this enterprises left behind. So we want to check out other stream, right? So if we go backwards to the previous stream, we can see that we have the caption here. So you found this Grinch cookie here. Um, that is uh, that is a, a flag for this question. And for the last question, there is a still second flag somewhere. Can you find it on the machine? So. Like I mentioned earlier that this one is looking for uh, all the files in the pictures folder uh, this and this folder, uh, this subfolder. So if we go into that subfolder, we would say here we have this folder here and we can see we, we have the flag 2 here. So we just need to um, type that flag inside the answer box and we should solve this challenge oops i think i um i think i missed the at here um so that is the Day 22, um, pretty basic, and uh, but it's pretty uh, education, educational um, task. Uh, so if you want to learn about the basics of the Cyber Chef and the OE dump, uh, both two are pretty useful. Um, I would say in in a, in an incident, uh, most time you you will have a user uh, download it, download um, malicious files and uh, they, they ran it so you want to analyze it so you would use the OE dump and the uh, cyber chef to getting the malicious code out and uh, say what the malicious content actually is so I would I would ha highly recommend you guys to check out this day 22 this challenge uh, this task and uh, also special thanks to uh, track me try hack me staff for putting up this amazing challenge um, and uh, uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching this video and uh, I will see you guys in my next video.